Hey folks, it's Ben with Ben's Bugs Be Gone. Driving down the road, getting ready to uh, get home and enjoy my family. Uh, just did a big treatment for Powder Post Beetles at a, at a location. Uh, just wanted to share some with you. This time of the year, we start getting a lot of calls for carpenter ants. Carpenter ants are a very underestimated problem. To me, they help reveal who is a true professional and who's not a true professional in the pest control industry. And I want to give out a warning. I'm not saying you have to go with Ben's Buds Be Gone. I just want to help and, and, and um, help my community. And there's a lot of dishonest pest control companies. And they'll go out there and they'll tell you that they can take care of, um, and they'll tell you just to do a quick one-time treatment for carpenter ants. And they'll just come out there and they'll just spray and they'll say, ah, we'll give you a 30-day warranty. The problem with that is they, most of these guys are aware that you're probably not going to see anything for about 30 days. And then the product's going to wear off because that's about the maximum for most of the products they're using. And they're going to do the 30-day treatment. And three months later, you're going to see carpenter ants again. And then you're going to find, oh, no, I don't have a warranty. So you got to start all over again. We redo a lot of carpenter ant work because of this. What happens is, is um, first of all, I want you to understand, carpenter ant activity in your home can very much often be a sign that you have a moisture problem in your home. You need to check for moisture under your windows. You need to check for moisture in your walls. Uh, check up in your attic. Check in your basement. Check in your crawl space. Check under the tub. Um, it's, it's really important to make sure that you're checking for moisture problems. I cannot tell you how many times, I mean literally significant amount of times, we get out there and we find that there's a moisture problem under a door, um, the, 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 the plate against the wall for a, a, a deck that's fastened to the house, or uh, under a tub, we had a really bad one, the tub almost fell through, and what was the warning system to let them know that there was an issue was carpenter ants. So it's really important to, to realize that uh, sometimes bugs can be a good warning system for something else, uh, and that's, that's a plus. So anyway, when you're dealing with carpenter ants, folks, I just want you to understand, very rarely is there one-time treatments. They have a 700-foot uh, plus tra traveling range. They can have multiple satellite colonies. They're traveling around, um, and, and you just don't know if you're gonna get them with one treatment. And you're, if you are, hey, lucky duck, go for it. But that's not the case. If that was the case, I wouldn't be getting constant calls redoing other companies' work for being dishonest and doing the, the one-time treatment with 30-day warranty. That's not being honest to you. They're like, ah, we'll do it for 150 bucks, you know. But they know they know they're screwing you over. You don't know it. So I'm going to encourage you to, to watch out for those kind of companies. A couple ways to get rid of your carpenter ants. Check for moisture. Keep your mulch away from your house. Keep your foliage away from your house. Keep the leaves, sticks, etc., away from the house. Don't let tree trims be down on it. Carpenter ants can do a lot of damage, folks. And they can really, they don't eat your wood as food. They like to burrow out and, and have their colony there and their satellite colonies there. So get rid of those carpenter ants by number one, getting rid of the moisture. Number two, getting rid of the foliage, sticks, etc. cetera. Uh, keeping the wood mulch. Uh, dig out all your mulch and replace it fresh every year. Don't put old on top of, in new on top of old. That is actually the worst thing in the world you can do. And then last but not least, if you can't get that under control, call a reputable, good pest control company so they can use non-repellent products, powders, granulars, you name it. They're gonna hit it with a lot of different things. Um, there's not just a one and done. That, that doesn't exist. There's multiple things in our arsenal that we use as experts and professionals to get rid of your pest control problem. Folks, have a blessed day.